Hi-dee-ho, and welcome to Cooking with Pals. I'm Dean. And I'm Chip. What are we going to do today, Dean? Uh, well, Chip, today we're going to bake some cakes. Oh boy, I love cake. <laughs> and, uh, you know, cakes are not just for uh, birthday parties or uh, anniversaries anymore. They're really for any occasion. Uh, I've cooked at uh, Kentucky Derby. I've wow. cooked cakes. I've heard of serving cakes at a bake sale and also a, a seminar. You know, Absolutely. Anything that you have a gathering of people, a luncheon, a break room, uh, you can have a cake and they can eat it. Sure. The chairman of the Chinese Republic, uh, he eats cakes. Sometimes uh, a nice cake will be uh, great for a pet or a, a co-worker or a family of uh, squirrels. Um, they, you know, they come up to the house, you have to give them something. Or someone with scurvy. And also, uh, as, as a charitable sort of thing, you can just leave a cake out in a, a drain pipe. Uh, you know, let the people eat it uh, who come if, by. If there are some public works uh, people who are out there working, they get a little treat. Absolutely. They, they come there and they say, wow, a cake here in the pipe. I will often, uh, I will often bring a cake to a new construction site. And just let just those, say, here it is, boys. That's Come right. and get it. Let those burly men eat away. Sure, sure. Great delicious. Yeah, yeah. Everyone loves cakes. Now, uh, we've got a, a dandy selection of cakes here. We have uh, this cake uh, is rather plain, and this one just looks lovely. That's right. And of course, you see on there uh, what's the most fun part of cake making, Chip? I think I know what you're going to say, Dean. Frosting. Frosting. That's right. Uh, you'll notice this one uh, is a little special. We've uh, got some strawberry, uh, pink frosting, and a white layer. I like to call frosting the friendly free food. Because not only does it uh, often start up a conversation, it's really very cheap. You know what? I, sometimes I'll take, a, I'll take a frosting and I'll spruce up uh, a salad with it. Frosting vinaigrette, we call that. Mm -hmm. Uh, frosting uh, actually has a very interesting history. Uh, it started with the uh, Venetians. They uh, used to line their uh, causeways with it as, as a sort of mortar. Also, it controls uh, the climate. Really? It's true. You didn't know that, Chip? No, I didn't know that. Hmm? Try it. But now it's really just a treat. That's right. Everybody loves frosting. That's right. You know, all this uh, frosting around here has given me a sense of deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> what does it remind you of, Chip? Well, it reminds me of our time in Vietnam. Hello. Welcome to Cooking with Pals. I'm Chip. And I'm Dean. Today we're going to show you how to bake a cake. First thing you got to remember in baking a cake is to keep it away from the VC. Charlie loves cake. That's right, Chip. Don't mind Chip. He doesn't speak much. Took some shrapnel to the throat. So we decided to go with chocolate today. VC tend to not like the chocolate. And it also doesn't crack the tsetse flies here in the swamp. Tsetse flies hate chocolate. That's right, Chip. We go with thin frosting as it spreads more smoothly upon the cake. This reminds me of that vacation we took a few years back. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna keep spreading it on. We chose pink because it's the most inconspicuous color here in the jungle. I like pink. Something up, Chip? It's trapped. I trust Chip when he says that. He can smell these things. I'm gonna lift this spatula off very slowly, Chip. Hasn't this happened before? Hmm. Boy, Nam was hell. Sure was, Chip. But this cake looks dandy. 
<laughs> sure does. Well, that's about all the time we have for Cooking with Pals this week. Join us next week when we'll show you how to make a dandy meatloaf, and it will remind us of our tragic childhoods. But for now, bon appetit. Cake can also make a man forget, Chip. Oh, mmm. It was excellent. Mm -hmm.